Hi everyone, my name is Alicia Wolf and I am a representative with UW Health Patient Resources, also known as Ambulatory Social Work Services. I am a licensed social worker and I am assigned to all of our outpatient ophthalmology clinics. For those of you who don't know me, I've been with the organization for about four years and three of those years has been spent working with ophthalmology. I'm also a double badger, received both my bachelor's and master's degrees from UW-Madison. Social Work Services is available to help both you and your patients coordinate care and uh, assist your patients with connecting with community resources to address any psychosocial need that they might have. So chances are if you can describe your patient's need as a social service need that we can probably help with it and if we can't then we can most likely direct you or your patient to the people who can. So some examples of uh, resources that we can connect patients with or needs that we can address include homelessness and housing issues, food insecurity, uh, securing and affording assistive devices, any kind of lack of insurance or medication related costs. Some other things that we've helped with in the past are uh, especially in ophthalmology, is securing in-home resources for those who may have difficulty functioning within their home safely due to their vision. We've also uh, helped be a consult for any kind of issues related to abuse, neglect, or domestic violence. So um, that's just the tip of the iceberg. You might be wondering how our work has changed since COVID-19 escalated. Luckily, we were already doing a lot of our work with patients over the phone because we are serving more clinics than we have social workers for. So um, a level of our work has always been done over the phone. So the transition was fairly easy for us as staff and we are able to perform most of the functions that we were before um, over the phone and from home. One thing though that has changed since COVID-19 is the kind of issues that we are addressing and the severe of those issues. So we've seen in social work a huge increase in the number of patients who have come to us with mental health related crises, alcohol and drug use issues, uh, homelessness and financial hardship due to the social isolation and economic impact of COVID-19. Quarantine has been really hard for everyone and our patients are no exception and even especially our most vulnerable patients, those who don't have support at home or don't have support in their communities. So so um, it's our responsibility as social workers to make sure that these vulnerable folks have all of the resources that they need to be safe and healthy. And we can't do that without you guys because you guys are where we get all of our referrals. So um, in order to contact us, the best way to refer to social work is to do a consult to social work services in HealthLink. If it's an urgent need, like the patient is in clinic and needs help immediately, especially if they're homeless or food insecure, or experiencing domestic violence, or if you need immediate consultation, you can give our main line a call. That line is staffed from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. You can also find our contact information and how to refer to us by searching for patient resources or ambulatory social work on UConnect. And you can also reach out to me. <laughs> um, reaching out to, to me directly is a great way to troubleshoot through uh, more difficult patient situations, or if you want to give me a heads up that a referral is coming in. Um, so my contact information, Alicia Wolf, can be found in the UConnect directory, or you can call me. When in doubt, if you're not sure if it's something that social work can help with, just reach out. And if we can't help you with it, we'll direct you to who we believe it can, you believe can help you. So thank you guys all for all of the work that you're doing with our patients. Stay safe and go Badgers.